in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, I hope you are having a great time and are eager to learn new things every day. This is the 10th week of the session 2020 and 2021 and you are attending Islamayat class. Today, we are going to study Unit 7. Opposition of the Quraysh. Dear students, open your books on page 31. Hold your pencils in your hands and get ready for reading and understanding the text. In today's lecture, you will learn about 1. The meanings of the key words 2. The reaction of rich and powerful Quraysh on preaching 3. Ways to stop Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him from preaching Islam 4. Meeting of the Quraysh with Abu Talib and the reply of the Holy Prophet peace be upon him. Dear students, before we start reading, let's learn a few key words. The first word is opposition. It means hostility. The second word is might. It means strength or power. The third word is garbage which means trash, waste, or rubbish material. The next word kafir means non-Muslim or non-believer. The last word is determination. It means strength of mind. Dear students, let's read the first paragraph of Unit 7. When the rich, proud, and powerful Quraysh saw that our dear prophet has wrought Muhammad peace be upon him, continued preaching the new faith. They were annoyed and did not like it. They looked upon it as an insult to their gods and religion, and opposed it with all their might. But the poor, the weak, and the slaves welcomed the message of Allah because it promised them a better and just life and a reward after death. Let's read it again. When the rich, proud, and powerful Quraysh saw that our dear prophet has wrought Muhammad peace be upon him, continued preaching the new faith. They were annoyed and did not like it. They looked upon it as an insult to their gods and religion, and opposed it with all their might. But the poor, the weak, and the slaves welcomed the message of Allah because it promised them a better and just life and a reward after death. Dear students, in this paragraph, we learn about the reaction of rich, proud, and powerful Quraysh on preaching Islam. They got annoyed. They took it as an insult to their God so they wanted to stop it with power. But the weak and the poor started accepting Islam as Islam promised eternal reward and success for them. Dear students, now, listen and read the second paragraph on page 31. The Quraysh tried their best to stop Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him. By hurting and insulting him, Kafir women threw garbage at him and spread thorns in his way. One Kafir tried to strangle him with a sheet of cloth. Another one threw the intestines of a camel on his back while he was praying. Please read and listen one more time. The Quraysh tried their best to stop Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him. By hurting and insulting him. Kafir women threw garbage at him and spread thorns in his way. One Kafir tried to strangle him with a sheet of cloth. Another one threw the intestines of a camel on his back while he was praying. Here we learn how the Quraysh tried to stop the Holy Prophet peace be upon him from preaching Islam. They insulted him and hurt him in many ways. For example, by throwing garbage at him, by spreading thorns in his way, 
by strangling him with a sheet of cloth, and by throwing the intestines of a camel on his back. Dear students, now, listen and read the second paragraph on page 31. Dear students, listen and read paragraph 3 of Unit 7. When this did not work, they went as a group to his uncle Abu Talib and asked him to stop his nephew from spreading his new religion and turning young men against their own gods. They were ready to offer Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him. Gold, silver, and power in return. When Abu Talib spoke to Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him about this, he answered. Dear uncle, even if they place the sun in my right hand, and the moon in my left, I will not give up preaching Islam. Until Allah gives me victory or I die trying to achieve it. Abu Talib loved his nephew dearly and when he saw his determination, he said. Go and do as you please. I will not stop you. Let's listen this paragraph again. When this did not work, they went as a group to his uncle Abu Talib and asked him to stop his nephew from spreading his new religion and turning young men against their own gods. They were ready to offer Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him. Gold, silver, and power in return. When Abu Talib spoke to Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him about this, he answered. Dear uncle, even if they place the sun in my right hand, and the moon in my left, I will not give up preaching Islam. Until Allah gives me victory or I die trying to achieve it. Abu Talib loved his nephew dearly and when he saw his determination, he said. Go and do as you please. I will not stop you. Dear students, in this paragraph, we learn that the Holy Prophet peace be upon him did not stop preaching Islam in spite of all hardships. At this, the Quraysh went to the Holy Prophet's uncle Abu Talib and complained against the Holy Prophet peace be upon him and asked him to stop his nephew from preaching Islam. They also offered gold, silver, and power to the Holy Prophet peace be upon him in return. But, when Abu Talib talked to Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him about it, the Holy Prophet peace be upon him replied, Dear uncle, even if they place the sun in my right hand, and the moon in my left, I will not give up preaching Islam until Allah gives me victory or I die trying to achieve it. Dear students, that's all for today. Please read the lesson and watch this video two or three times to have better comprehension of the text. Don't forget to do the worksheet which your teacher has shared with you. Thank you dear students. I wish you all the best.